There you go, folks. I'm back on here. Another little roadside stop. A little creek here. This one's not really running, but a cool little bridge walks over. And the water's clear. Still pretty. But anyway, thought I'd uh, put this little clip in there. That. See, so, yeah, I'll get back on here later. Hey folks, I'm back on there. And, uh, man, as you can tell, it's a beautiful day. I'm gonna go out and enjoy the day. What am I gonna talk about? Well, I don't know, uh, Sure seems like uh, the good old U.S. of A. Sure seems like we're a little unstable, don't it? Well, I've been around for a while, uh, without saying my age, but uh, I've been around for a while. And, and I can honestly say, that I've never seen this country, the USA, more unstable than I see it right now. And I mean, that's through my whole lifetime. I just haven't ever seen it uh, as unstable as we are right now. And I'm sure most of you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so many things going on worldwide. Of course, the United States is involved in a lot of things. And it sure seems we can't keep our hands out of everybody else's business, you know? go toward the looking at the economy wise you know one one day the stock market the Dow will drop you know over 500 points and really the mainstream media don't really talk about that too much but then the very next day it could shoot up and break record numbers I mean, it, you know, I'm no economist and I'm no expert on the stock market, but I just can't make no sense out of that. Uh, we know that inflation is out of control. Cost of living's gone way up. And the stock market can have record days where it shot up so high, you know, that it break records. Just don't make no sense. Housing market's gone outrageous. Most people, you know, and I'm talking probably younger folks, uh, but hardworking folks. Can't even afford to buy a house right now because of what's going on in the housing market. A lot of folks can't even uh, afford to pay their rent, you know, wherever, whether they're renting a house, an apartment, or whatever it is. A lot of people are struggling being able to keep up with that. And you don't know one day to the next what this administration 
is going to do. Uh, the one that they call the so-called president up there. He can't even say a couple of sentences without uh, screwing that all up. You know, without mumbling and fumbling. Shoot, the man's got a teleprompter up there. He's supposed to have been a politician all his life. He should be handling that. You know, those camera interviews and uh, time on camera, he should be handling that, that like that, like an expert, you know? Shoot, he's been doing it for, what, going on 60 years? <coughs> but boy, he can sure make people think, darn, is that what's leading our country? Well, I guess I'll leave that alone right there and we'll let you ponder on that, think about that. But I really do believe uh, we are in a time that uh, that we've never been in ever before. Well, folks, if we would, let's say a blessing for all our military members worldwide. Worldwide. And we're always going to need good first responders. The ones that are out there doing it for the right reasons. If we could say a blessing for them. Y'all take care of yourselves. Ride safe. And I'll catch y'all on the next video.